Hello everybody, this is an updated Rhino video demo about methods of selecting control points on surfaces. Okay, let's start. What I'm going to do is to create a surface using Sweep 1 rail and I would like to use this curve as a rail and a circle at this end as a cross section. So I'm going to use this circle around curve to create a circle. In the current version of Rhino, simply by selecting a curve, its control points will be displayed. In previous version of Rhino, you might have to click on this icon or type points on at the command prompt or press the F10 key on the keyboard to display control points on curves as well as surfaces. Before I proceed to create the surface, I would like to bring up a consideration that is critical for creating curves with smooth flow and transition. And that is that in order to create curves with smooth flow and transition, we should as best as possible avoid having control points that are on the curve itself. This is because control points on curve itself can create a discontinuity in the curve. Um, let me give you an example by pulling this point which is on the curve itself and see what happens. Okay, you notice that this transition is not smooth at all. That's because this control point is on the curve itself. So as you can see, we should avoid having control points on the curve itself if you want to have a smooth transition. So how do we solve this issue? What we can do is to rebuild this curve. And let's do it now. So I'm going to type rebuild. And then select our curve. And you'll notice that currently our curve is having degree 2. Hence, we have these points on the curve itself in order for the circle to be created okay so what we need to do is to change the degree to 3 and we might have to increase the point count so I'm going to increase to 12 okay and then click OK now you notice that the control points are no longer on the curve itself and if I were to move the point you notice that the transition is still a smooth one over here it's no longer sharp as in the previous case so this is an important uh, factor to look out for when creating curves that needs to be smooth okay so now let's proceed to create the surface using the sweep one rail okay so i got the surface and as mentioned if i want to turn on the control points i can click on this icon or I can use the hotkey, the F10 key. So I'm going to press the F10 now and you'll notice that yeah, the control points has been displayed. And I'd like to show you how we can select entire rows of control points. To do that, simply double click anywhere along two adjacent points that are indicative of the direction of the rows. Okay, so in this case here, let's say I want to select this row, I can simply click anywhere between uh, two adjacent points along here. Okay, so let's say I just double click here and you notice that, yeah, I'm able to select the entire row. And if I want to select, let's say another row, I can press hold the shift key, double click. Okay, yeah, we got something like that. Now I'm going to deselect all these control points that are selected by pressing the escape key and in a similar fashion let's say I want to select this row I can double click let's say here or here okay double click and you can see yep I'm able to select this stuff here okay and let's say if I want to make this part bigger we can use the gumball okay we can use the gumball and 
over here i want to stress that we have options such as align to c plane and align to object so if you want the scaling to be more in line with that of the object selected you might want to select the align to object uh, in this case here it's not going to be obvious because we have a whole group of our objects okay let me do the demo again later to illustrate a line to object. I'm pressing the shift key now. Okay, so you can see that I'm able to like just scale this this row. Okay. Let me illustrate what I meant by the application or align to object okay so let me select this okay or rather let me select uh let's say I select select uh one of the point here let me select this okay can you see this okay you notice that right now i'm using the align to object and you notice that the orientation of the arrows are placed in such a way that they are following the flow of that that surface with regards to the position of the of that point okay so because this one is selected here this arrow is denoting the normal at that point okay so this is the advantage of using the align to object if let's say if i were to use the align to c plane you can see that we are simply aligning to the directions on the construction plane which might not be so relevant in our case here because let's say i want to move it in a way that is more perpendicular to that, that surface I should use the line to object okay so a line to object now allows me to select this okay select this so this is a useful thing to consider for example let's say i want to select this see i can move in such a way that it's giving us better control over the manipulation of the control points in this situation here okay and if you like to have even more controls over the selection of control points you can open up this toolbar okay go to the select toolbar and under the lasso points you press and hold you can pull out the select points toolbar which provide for many other point selection commands okay for example let's say i want to select a point that is next to this along the u direction i can click on it and then click on this icon you can see that i'm selecting the next point that's along the the u direction okay so by clicking on it you can select this way and to reverse the direction you simply do a right mouse click okay and reverse the direction okay in a similar fashion if i want to select the v direction i can use this command select uh, the next v direction okay something like that can see and if i want to do a uh, right mouse click instead i'm able to reverse the direction okay and the select u and select v is uh, similar to the first demo that i have done let me show you how uh, we can use it in this uh, application over here okay for example let's say i want to select the u direction points along here i can simply pick on any of the control point along here let's say i pick on this and then click on the select u you notice that yep the whole row in the u direction has been selected okay in a similar fashion if i want to select in the v direction I can select any of the points 
that is uh, on, on it and then click the select V okay yeah, something like that okay. and maybe I'll talk about one more command is this selecting points by brushing if you were to click on this you can select the points by simply brushing over that region there something like that okay and then with that I come to the end of this demo hope this has been useful see you bye